These pictures of atoms are typical, but they are unrealistic. However, they do show the relative positions of the protons and neutrons in the nucleus and the electrons surrounding it. Here, we are focusing upon the neutrons. Neutrons are a fundamental part of all atoms except hydrogen, the most basic, with only one proton. The number of protons in an atom defines the atom, but the neutrons provide stability. Within the nucleus, neutrons are generally stable, with the exception of those that decay by beta emission. But outside the nucleus, the neutron is unstable with a half-life of around about 10 minutes. One isotope with unstable neutrons is this one pictured here. It has six protons and eight neutrons and it is carbon-14. It's unstable because one of the neutrons can break down emitting an electron and an antineutrino. Because it's emitted an electron, the particle left behind has a positive charge. It has become a proton. So the isotope now has seven protons and seven neutrons. It has become nitrogen. Neutrons outside the atom break down in a similar way to that I've just described. So it emits an electron and an antineutrino, becoming a proton. Adding a little more detail, a neutron has within it three quarks, two down quarks and an up quark. The down quark has a charge of minus one third and the up quark two thirds, so altogether the charges cancel out. The neutron is neutral. On decay, one of the down quarks changes into an up quark, emitting the electron and antineutrino. The charge changes from minus a third to plus two thirds, so the total charge change is minus one. The emission of an antineutrino ensures that the lepton number remains constant. Presenting this differently in a Feynman diagram, where the time is on the y-axis, there's no meaning for the x-axis. So an up and two downs the neutron emits a W- boson as a consequence of the weak force, causing the creation of an electron-antineutrino pair, leaving behind a proton. Thank you for watching.